If there's one thing I've learned about Aaron over the years, it's that when he's given the choice, Aaron will always pick the hard option. So if it's the heaviest, hardest instrument in the marching band or studying chemical engineering of all things, Aaron doesn't take the easy way out. I, I suspect that Aaron does this to make up for the fact that in his life, he has one supremely easy choice to make, and that's to be with Lanier. Lanier, in a few moments, we're going to be married. All this is crazy to think about. Since nine summers ago, I decided that I wouldn't talk to you again after you basically friend-zoned me at prom. That little 16-year-old girl had absolutely no idea how her life was about to change in the best way possible. Of course, I was always wondering who is my best friend going to end up with. And it just has been so clear that it has always been you. I could tell, and I think Lanier could tell too, that there was something special there. My first handhold, my first kiss. First as a friend, and then as a girlfriend, and then fiance, and now about to be my wife. Aaron, the Lord placed you in my life exactly when he knew I needed you. I was a little bit lost, going through trials and tribulations. No child should have to face, yet you stood by me through it all. It's the little things that I love and appreciate about you, like your little hands and fingers, no <laughs> pun intended. I love your nose, I love the way you stick your tongue out when you try to focus, and I even love the way that you always manage to spill things on yourself, because that just makes you who you are. You're linear. You love me for all that I am, and all that I am not. Wow, my goodness. You look so beautiful, my God. Oh. Gosh, wow. <laughs> Thank you, sweetie. It's a lot for me. Love you. I love you too with all my heart. We are gathered here today on this joyous occasion to celebrate the special love that Lanier and Aaron share. <laughs> wow. <laughs> It is a love based on giving and receiving, as well as having and sharing. And the love that they give and have is shared and received. And through this having and giving and sharing and receiving, we too can share and love and have and receive. For those who don't know, I was not great enough to make this. It is courtesy of Joey from the hit TV sitcom, Friends, one of Lanier's favorites. You feel like home and everywhere I've never been all at once. We are finally here after eight and a half years. <laughs> it is the honor of my life getting to be your wife. I vow to respect you as the partner that you are today and the partner that you will be forever. I vow to hold both of us accountable for valuing mental, physical, and spiritual health. I vow to pursue God with you by my side. I vow to raise a family with you, centered around values of gratitude, faith, and passion. I vow to provide for you and the family that we create, including whatever wiener dogs that we give. <laughs> I vow to have lots of fun in our marriage. Laugh a lot, adventure together, play, goof around, go on walks, raise a dog, all the things. Lastly, I vow to encourage you to be your best self and to grow in your relationship with the Lord. You have so many loved ones here praying for you on your journey and rooting for you in this lifelong race. May you explore your new commitment and dedication to one another with adventure, daily prayer, and thoughtfulness in your relationship, choosing one another over and over again, which you have already consistently done. Thank you both for allowing each one of us here to be a part of that story, and we wish you all nothing but the best. Second is actually my grandma and granddaddy's anniversary and so they were an amazing example of commitment honoring and respecting each other throughout their marriage and putting God first in their relationship 
Um, my Mimi and Pop also got married at this venue 23 years ago. This venue and this date are just really special to us, so we're so glad um, that y'all are here with us. It's just so sweet having y'all um, be an integral part of our day. Aaron, I have the utmost respect for you. You're exactly the kind of man that I was hoping you would get married to um, and share her life with. So Lynn and Aaron, I love you both and will always be here for anything that you need. I'm so excited to share this day with y'all and enjoy all the fun with so many people who love you both. I now pronounce you husband and wife. Aaron, you may kiss your bride. Throughout my adult life, y'all's relationship has been a constant. And you've set the bar really, really high. I just hope that y'all know you have a ton of people in your corner. And we all love you dearly, especially me. So it's been really sweet to watch your love story unfold um, and just to see how you care for Lanier so deeply. Um, and through the highs and lows of long distance, you've just made it really clear that there's no one better equipped to love Lanier than you. I'm so excited. I'm excited to see what's to come. Cheers to endless happiness, new adventures, and a new home in Texas. Lachaim and cheers to Lanier and Aaron. Aaron, you believe in me, challenge me, make me laugh, push me to be the best version of myself, study me, and best of all, have the most fun with me. There's no one else I would want to spend all of my days next to, build a family with, and go through life's ups and downs with. I vow to make the choice to love you every day, show you that love through my actions, and love you unconditionally no matter what. And finally, I vow to love you more and more each and every day that I'm blessed to have with you. Let's go.